Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Android Studio on Windows 10 or 11. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you install Android Studio for developing apps for Android devices? Well, installing it is actually pretty easy, but there are going to be some applications or programs that you need to install first before you can start using Android Studio. So one of them is going to be Java. So in this case, go ahead and open up any browser that you have right now on your PC. So in this case, I'm using Google Chrome. Now, from here, what we need to do is we just need to search for the following, which is going to be Java Oracle. Just press and enter. Now, you should be able to see the website for a Java here. Let's go ahead and open it up. So in this case, choose the website for Oracle. So choose oracle.com slash Java or AU if you're in the Australia region. In this case, in their website, what we need to do is we need to look for the download link, which in this case, you just need to scroll down a bit here and you should be able to see the option or button that says download Java now. Let's go ahead and choose this one. Now, what we need to do is we need to choose the appropriate operating system. So since we want to install this for Windows, let's go ahead and choose Windows. Now, from here, what we need to do is we now need to choose the appropriate options here, which in this case, we are going to install the x64 here, installer. Let's go ahead and click on the download link here. And from here, let's just wait for the download to complete. So depending on your region and your internet speed, this might vary. So in my case, it's about 10 seconds from now. So let's just wait for it to complete the download. So the download is now complete. Let's go ahead and open up the location of that specific software. Double click on it and click on yes if it requires any further permission. Now, from here, what we need to do is we just need to further or we just need to install it. In this case, it's going to say, welcome to Installation Wizard. Let's go and click on next. And from here, it's going to ask you to, uh, where do you want to actually install the actual location? So it is recommended that you keep the default location here, but if you want to do that, go ahead, but make sure to take note of that location. So for now, let's go and click on the next button here. And from here, we just need to wait for the installation to complete. So let's just wait for it. And once the installation is complete, as you can see, it's now says installation complete. Let's go ahead and click on close here. Now, what we need to do next is we now need to basically identify the latest version or just make sure that our machine actually recognizes the that Java is actually installed in our machine. In this case, for us to do that, first things first is we need to go and find the program files for this one. So in this case, open up the Windows uh, Explorer here. And from here, you want to go to uh, this PC, go ahead and click on it. And you want to go to where Windows is actually installed. So you should see a Windows logo on it. So let's go ahead and click on it. From here, go to Program Files. From here, look for Java and look for JDK22, depending on the version that you've actually installed. In this case, let's go ahead and open up bin here. And from here, you want to copy the whole address here for the bin folder. Let's go ahead and copy this one. In this case, let's go ahead and close this one. And from here at the bottom left, go ahead and type in the following, which is going to be uh, advanced system properties. Let's just type in advanced system properties, like from uh, click on view advanced system properties or settings. From here, look for the advanced tab, go ahead and click on it. So in this case, look for environment variables. Let's go and open it up. Now, what we need to do next is we need to look for the path section here, which is under the system variables. So scroll down a bit here, look for path here, go ahead and click on it. And from here, you want to click on edit. Now, what we need to do is we need to actually add a new one. So let's go click on the new option here. Just type in the uh, for path that we just copied. And once you've done that, go ahead and click on anywhere. And from here, just click on OK, click on OK, and click on OK. Now, the next thing we want to do here is we now need to confirm if Java is now installed. So in this case, go ahead and look for CMD. So at the bottom left, go ahead and type in the following, which is going to CMD. So you should see command prompt appearing here. In this case, right click on it, click on run as administrator, click on yes if it requires any permissions. And from here, you want to type in the following. First is going to be finding out the version. So let's just type in Java space dash dash version. Press on enter and you should be able to see the current version of Java currently installed on our PC. 
Now in this case, what we need to do next is we now need to make sure that the compiler or Java compiler is actually working. So to do that, you just need to type in the following, which is going to be Java C and just press an enter. And as long as it actually runs, you should be good. Now from here on, we are now ready to install um, Android Studio. So let's go ahead and do that. So next thing you want to do is you want to close this one, go ahead and open up any browser again. And from here, just type in the following, which is going to be Android Studio. Just press an enter. And from here, you should be able to see uh, Android Studio here. So you should be able to see download option here. Let's go ahead and click on it. So from here, make sure that you're clicking a link for developer.android.com slash studio. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on download Android Studio Call. Let's go ahead and click on it. It's going to give you some terms and conditions here. So if you want to read that, you could go and do it. But for now, I'm going to re uh, agree to this one. And from here, let's go ahead and click on download Android Studio. Now from here, it's going to actually start the download process. So it's actually a 1.1 gigabyte of uh, data in this need here to download the actual installer. So in this case, it might this might take a few minutes. So go ahead and wait for that. But once it's actually installed, let's go ahead and proceed with the next steps. Now, the download is now complete. Let's go ahead and locate the location where the installer is actually located. So in this case, you should now see Android Studio here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now, from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on Run. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to wait for it to actually unload or verify the files. So it might ask you some permissions here. Let's go and click on yes to run this as administrator. And from here, we just need to follow the uh, following screens here. So let's go and click on next. And from here, it's going to ask you what components to install. Now, if you want to run your program on your own phone, it is recommended that you install the Android virtual device here. Let's go ahead and make sure uh, we've selected this one. Just click on next. And from here, you could change the location where you want to install Android Studio. Now, in this case, it is recommended that you keep the original path here so that you won't get lost anywhere. But in this case, uh, we're going to keep this one. But again, if you want to change this location, go ahead. But for now, let's go ahead and click on next. Now, from here, what we need to do is we now need to add a name for our start menu folder. So in this case, I'm going to keep this as Android Studio. Let's go ahead and click on install. Now, it's going to start installing. So let's just wait for it to complete. And as you can see, it is now completed. Let's go ahead and click on next. Now, it's going to ask you if you want to start Android Studio here. Let's go ahead and click on finish. And that should open up Android Studio. In this case, you could either uh, make sure to send or allow Google to collect usage data here for Android Studio. But if you don't want to, just click on don't send. And it's going to start Android Studio. So let's go ahead and start the welcome process here. Let's go ahead and click on next here. And from here, you can now choose what type of setup you want for Android Studio. So you could either choose standard here, which in this case, the most common settings will be used in installing Android Studio. But if you want to customize it further, you could go and click on custom. But in this case, I would recommend you to use the standard one. Let's go ahead and click on next. Now, from here, we need to choose what components that we want to update or install. So we have Android SDK, which is really important here. We have the Android SDK platform, if you want to install that. So you have the Android API 35, 165 MB. We have Perform, Intel HMAX, HAXM, and Performance Android Emulator here, which is required if you want to uh, emulate an Android device on your PC. So I also, also have Android Virtual Device. In this case, let's go ahead and click on next here since we want all of this to be installed. And from here, we now need to confirm our changes. Let's go ahead and click on next. Now, from here, what we need to do is we now need to accept the terms and conditions here since these are required for Android SDK license and Android Extra license as well. Let's go ahead and click on accept. Now, from here, let's go ahead and click on finish and it should now start the download process. So in this case, this might take a few minutes or a few hours, again, depending on your download, download speed. But for now, let's go and wait for it. Now, once installation or download is complete, let's go ahead and click on finish, and uh, you're now done. In this case, you could just go ahead and click on new project here, and from here, choose your activity. So you could choose an empty one, or a empty activity, or a button navigation view activity here. Let's go ahead and choose this one, click on next, and from here, you could choose whatever options you want, like the name, the package name here, the save location where your project is going to be located, the language. So in this case, you could actually use Kotlin here, or you could use Java. In this case, you could also choose the minimum SDK here. So you could also choose the build configuration language if you want to. 
So for now, let's go and click on finish and it should actually start downloading the necessary files for you to create your project here. So once it's done, let's go and click on finish and that should actually start generating resources as well as opening up your project. Now it should show you your project or activity here. Let's go and click on just allow access. And from here, it should start generating your activity here, start loading it up. And from here on, you could just start uh, doing whatever you want for this project or activity. In this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.